这回呢？This uh, clearly has some black residue on it. Definitely needs washing. Uh, but it's actually warm today, so I'll even to put it on. Good. Should be very good. You know, there's a big contradiction in America, especially with Marvel, She-Hulk, the you know, Rings of Power. Uh, in that, you know. Even though these feminists really hate men, at least they try to make it look that way, you know, they still they still listen to Taylor Swift, you know, who more or less makes a whole lot of uh, songs. I mean, writes a whole lot of songs about uh, that that feeling. That's a big, in my opinion, that's a big contradiction in there. You have, I mean, granted, a lot of the songs from, say, Taylor Swift are about shitty relationships and stuff. Like that. Just say a lot of them are. A lot of them are more or less uh, love songs, or they're positive. Or some of them are positive, not necessarily every song is negative. See, that's kind of a kind of a contradiction, yeah. I mean, Taylor Swift does, in some instances, uh, trash you know, most of the time. Well, I mean, most people would say that it's all the songs where she trashes men, right? Because Harry Styles allegedly, uh, Harry Styles allegedly, because I don't know anybody else. Uh, but it's kind of a big contradiction for Taylor Swift to have so many fans and then for there to be so many feminists. Isn't that like a contradiction? I think it is. You know, isn't that a contradiction for Taylor Swift to have so many fans and for there to be so many feminists or something? I mean, that's what it tells. Shooting him up in my head. I gotta go wash my face. Yeah, this really needs a little bit of washing, so it should be okay to wear after that. I'm gonna freeze or something, you know, to death. 
because it is going to get cold next week. Today is probably going to be the last day. It's going to be warm weather. And, uh, next week, I think it's going to get a lot colder. But like I said, you know, isn't it? Isn't it, a, isn't it a big contradiction for? I mean, I would think that it, that it is. Isn't it a contradiction for all the feminists to you know listen to Taylor Swift? Listen, you know Taylor Swift to me doesn't seem like a big feminist. If you listen, if you listen to some of the previous songs from the previous albums, it doesn't even the music videos. Even the music videos and the lyrics don't really sound uh, like feminist type of songs, right? So isn't it isn't it a contradiction for Taylor Swift to have so many fans and for there to be so many? woke feminists who listen to Taylor Swift. Isn't that a little bit of a contradiction? Well, it sounds like it is. Yeah, anyway, let's go here. I can see I gotta watch the video today. Now I can wear it. I got, I think, a pound 50 left. That's, I think that's all the money I have left. So, Of course, the the main uh, plus, the, the main. Uh, benefit of having all these feminists, all of a sudden woke feminists coming out, coming out of the woodwork over there in America, is that it's more material for more gifts to make, uh, more gifts to make, right? Make a shitload out of it. I mean, even the Shiho creator, the writer, is that's Queen Elizabeth too. And now it's Chinese or Japanese or Asian or Korean or something. I'm not sure what that one is. You see? You know, there is a benefit to it. You're sticking your neck out saying stupid shit on TV about being a feminist. All of a sudden you match the Queen or you see Galadriel matches Taylor Swift and the she hulk creator or writer, whatever she, producer, I don't know, matches Queen Elizabeth, now in his Korean or Chinese or whatever. It's really funny, they all came out, you know, they all came out, of, you know, came out of nowhere all of a sudden. And there's more and more, you know, more and more material to go through. And more kids to make. You know? It's really funny like that, isn't it? It's really funny, no guys, no one's going to any fucking castle. Shut the fuck up. Yeah? I thought we were getting paid. We are here, you know, they keep talking about money and credits. Let's get paid, let's saddle up the hominid and get lost. Yeah? That's, you know, that's what I want to do. Yeah, no one's going to any castle. And I keep saying, come on, man. It's like the precious calling you to the castle. My precious. My precious. It's the ring of Sauron calling you to the castle or something. Yeah. So just like, fuck it, you know, I think it really is amazing. Like I said, this lunacy with this framing program is so out of this world that I am willing to entertain this cult, like I said, a little while longer just to see how much more crazy it can get. Understand? This framing gig that they got going on in here for themselves is so out of this world, from my point of view, that I, I, would like to entertain this cult a little bit while longer, yeah, just to see how much more crazy they can get over time. Because this, has been an interesting ride, to say the least. Yeah, this has been a very, very interesting ride. I, for one, want to see just how out of control this crew can get in the total absence of white people. Because I have no idea what white people they're talking about. Especially in America, because I haven't seen any. You know, I, for one, and you, if you are white, you should be interested in this as well. I want to see, I want to see where this crew can hit a brick wall on their own. I want to see where this crew, in the total absence of white people, can hit a brick wall, you know, a brick wall completely on their own without being interrupted. And I want to see how far this cult can go and how much more crazy it can get. I am more interested in that than anything else. And you should be too. Because these motherfuckers are lunatics of the highest order. All of them. All of them are.
so I'm going to wash you off. It's a pretty nice day today. I'm going to enjoy these last few days of summer. I'm going to enjoy these last few days of summer. And next week I think it's going to get cold. The soap. Yeah, I need a bottle of soap to wash my clothes. You know, what's interesting, like I said, about America and even Europe is that even though it's the land of plenty. Uh, and so they say the land of milk and honey. For certain people, it certainly is, and you definitely got to be Jewish if you want to be a high income earner. But even though they say this, you know, the population of white people isn't going up, it's going down. You know, it should, you know, if you have a, you know, a land that you call the land of milk and honey, your white population should be flourishing. Instead, it's going down. Yeah, for whatever reason. It's more or less the same across Europe, no matter what country you go. You know, and granted, Europe has more socialism, it's a lot more socialist. Denmark, I would say, Sweden, uh, they, they got a lot more socialist uh, programs, but I don't know about socialism in America. They do have public housing in America. So I don't know which, which countries are higher on the scale of socialism. Even though, like I said, even though they call America the land of milk and honey, the land of opportunity, white population goes down every year. It does the same across Europe. You understand? And that, you know, it definitely is the land of milk and honey, an opportunity for certain people, especially if you're a Jew. Sure. Yeah. And that's the reason why, you know, that's one of the reasons why America doesn't work for white people. America doesn't work for white people. We call it the land of milk and honey an opportunity, for sure, it is, for Jews. But because your, you know, white population goes down every year, it's quite the opposite for white people, isn't it? Yeah, it is quite, quite the opposite for a certain group of people. And it is white people because the population numbers for white people go, goes down every year. Even though it's a land of milk and honey and opportunity, it doesn't make any sense, does it? That's right, so good, fuck it's you. That's right, there's only one reason why that trend continues to grow. It's a Soviet breakfast pretending to be white. It's a Soviet breakfast pretending to be white. Who the fuck else it would be? It's a Soviet breakfast motherfucker pretending to be white. That's why that trend continues to grow. Yeah, the land of milk and honey, an opportunity for certain people, and why population numbers continue to dwindle, uh, dwindle into nothing. Into nothing. Because what we do have in there is a Soviet bright but pretending to be white. So you see, there you go, you know, that's the reason why you have these problems. Yeah, across Europe as well. Yeah, it looks like the Lord of the Rings is, you know, the story in the Lord of the Rings is actually true. This is our motherfucker. It's pretending to be white. Yeah, that's your problem right there. Yeah, just like Sauron in Lord of the Rings. This motherfucker's pretending to be white. Yeah, that's your problem right there. What an interesting trend. The land of milk and honey and opportunity, but there's no white people, and the white population numbers continue to dwindle. Why, man? If, you know, if it's the land of milk and honey and opportunity, the white population should be growing. There's your problem right there. It's this Sauron Soviet pretending to be white. Yeah, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. But this is probably a trend that's growing in South America as well. Granted, they don't have any white people, I think, right now. Uh, we do have some uh, European vestiges in South America. I don't think there's any down there anyway. We're supposed to have some in Argentina. We're supposed to have some in some South American countries. But I personally don't think there is any down there. They just look white. I don't think there's any, you know, any actual white people in South America. Who knows? Because I have so much drool on my face and sleeping in the bus. EMF. 
going into my brain. Charge my laptop. I'm at 70% still because I charged it to 100 last night twice. 
so I gotta go sit down and charge my laptop and power bank because I spent it. The good thing is those commands do save battery. Uh, the commands do save battery. I only lost 1% last night sleeping. Uh, the dose setting is to be enabled to uh, properly make the phone idle uh, when you're not using it. So the dose setting is to be enabled to save battery. I found other settings last night looking around. Turn off vibration, enable fast charging. Uh, can probably make the fast charging command persist so that it's always fast charging and can be disabled. I uh, found a lot of other commands last night to uh, try and speed it up a little bit. Turn off animation, vibration, a whole, whole bunch of other stuff. Enable fast charging, like I said, using ABB. So we should, uh, <clears throat> in theory, make the phone faster. One day today. Day, like I said, not bad today. Hopefully, it doesn't look like there's any rain today either, so that's good. Very good. Uh, 1700 milliamps from 1750 from the laptop, uh, which is pretty normal, should be 2200. Uh, Change up the uh, has, uh, has a banana that I updated last night in it. it. Seems to be working fine, hold the battery fine, it's fast, charges, 
uh, no issue. I charged to 100% last night three times or twice from the power bank. Got it up to 90 once again. So it's uh, holding for now. Charge is off. So it should be okay.
death, 4.391 volts. I don't think I ever saw 39. That's very good. It's a very long wire, too. It's about six feet. So I can get soap. Or I can get some ice cream. What do you guys say? Should we get a treat? Or should I get some uh, soap? Downside with the 12 so far is that uh, I can't browse uh, banned websites on Wi Fi, whereas before I could on 11. So there's that to consider. Because basically, if you accessed one of these websites previously on 11 that is banned on Wi Fi, you can access it again on the, band wi on the Wi Fi that bans the website. So all you have to do is just access the website once. And then if you connect to a Wi-Fi network that bans it, you can still browse the website. Now 12 doesn't do this. They made some changes to it, so it's kind of disappointing in that sense. Uh, it is a big downside for me, but you know, it's that freezing stuff on 11. It just makes it makes it unusable. You know, when the settings that crashes, you know, it's broken pipe 32, whatever that is. It basically says the settings are on installed. It's uh, it makes it lag, so it's unusable. Two or three seconds of lag, forget about it. Clicks, swipes, taps, three seconds of lag, it's, un it's, un it's unusable. So. And there's that disadvantage with 12. You can't browse banned websites on Wi Fi. You could go to Apple, you could go to Microsoft, you could go to Charing Cross and browse any website you want on 11. You cannot do that on 12. They did some changes, and he talks about it in the September patch. It tells you that they made some changes to, changes to uh, Wi Fi, connectivity, something. So I don't know how, they, how 11 was doing this. Like I said, I'm not an expert. But on 11, you could browse banned websites on Wi Fi, any Wi Fi. So that was a huge advantage on 11. caching um, but I mean I gotta look into that why is it that you can't browse bandwidth websites on Wi-Fi it's still internet yeah it's still internet we just need DNS information so <clears throat> I think 11 was caching DNS access to websites because on the Wi-Fi it's I think it's DNS they're blocking the websites by DNS and on 11 I think they were it was caching DNS access so when you went to a Wi-Fi that banned the website it was the access was still cached on 11 Maybe that's that's what that's what the, was going on with 11. I'm not sure. Like I said I'm not an expert to know.
Nice and cool, 26 degrees Celsius, as it should be. Let's go ahead and go to Tesco. Barber shop special. Yeah, if you're wondering, <clears throat> the, uh, like I said, I have more or less transparent skin. Usually, anybody of color, including albinism, has opaque skin, meaning that it's got some kind of uh, pigment in there that makes the skin opaque. You're brown, you're brown, you're black, you're red, you're yellow. You got albinism, which is also kind of yellow looking. Orange, like trunk, something like that. It's opaque skin. If you are Reese's negative, your hair is also transparent. So when the sun shines, it looks like you have glowing hair. Whereas people who are Reese's positive have more pigment in their hair and it's not transparent. If you are Reese's negative, your hair is also transparent, like your skin, which is why the hair shines in, in sunlight and it has an unusual glow in direct sunlight because the hair is also transparent. It's got a red hue to it and it shines. That's the reason why you watch the video that I have on Instagram when I was in Vienna. I was using the HTC phone that I had from my brother. And the hair is glowing in the sunlight because it's see-through. It's transparent hair, just like my skin. And that's why there's a shine. Since when? Yeah, it's Sunday, that's why. Well, I gotta go get my necklace. I gotta go get my necklace now because I'm gonna box it. I think I sold that coat as well, so I guess
But you have a situation over here you know, where you have a giant pizza match on who's white and who isn't. And you have a bunch of overzealous mongrels. Well, you have you know, a bunch of overzealous mongrels, in my opinion, that are simply jealous of white people. We stole this story in the book. You know, we stole this story in the book. Doesn't surprise me one bit. You know, we'll fight white supremacy and white privilege, but we wouldn't be linked to. In short, what an irony. What a hypocrisy that is. That's what you have here. You have a bunch of overzealous <laughs> mongrels who, more or less, think of themselves as being white. And it's a giant pissing match on who's whiter. You know it's a giant pissing match on who's whiter. Maybe the guys with albinism are whiter. Maybe the transgender people are whiter. I understand it's an overzealous mongrel, more or less. And he would like to fight white supremacy and white privilege at the same time. But keep in mind, in this uh, part of the world, you don't get to uh, you don't get to shower in Jewish money and come out white to the other side. It doesn't work like that. It's the reason why we were impoverished from the time World War II ended, and even before that to some extent. It's the reason why uh, we could not and could not, you know, we could not make you know, much money anywhere, America or here or anywhere. Understand? You don't get to bathe in the Jewish coin and come out white to the other side. It doesn't work like that. It never really has. That's not what they're about. And they made it pretty fucking clear that you know, that's not what they're about. I understand you don't get to shower in Jewish coin and then come out white to the other side. It doesn't work like that. That's not like I said. It doesn't matter what anybody in Hollywood says. You're in there because you're not white. You're mixed. You're Jewish. You're whatever. You're brown. You're black. You're uh, Hispanic. You're whatever. You're the queen. You're Charles. Whatever you are. You understand? In this part of the world, the golden rule is you don't get to shower in Jewish coin and come out white the other side. Understand? It doesn't work like that. That's the whole reason why World War II was fought. You know, it's the whole reason why World War II was fought. It's for that reason, and you idiots helped them along. Plenty of you did. Well, just like they say in the, well, just like they say in the Lord of the Rings, with uh, the uh, Southlands people helping Sauron or Morgoth or whatever the hell it was. Understand? In this part of the world, you don't get to shower in Jewish coin and come out white the other side. It doesn't work like that. Never has. Never will. Now, I'm talking about Hollywood, I'm talking about Wall Street, I'm talking about any industry, I'm talking about government as well. You know, government as well, obviously government is their invention. You know, in this part of the world, as far as I know, and as far as I can see my gifts, you do not get to shower in Jewish coin and come out white the other side. It doesn't work like that. And it's the reason why we were always poor. You understand? Understand? That's the is the order of the world that the Allies created for the Jews, and it will continue to be like that. It looks like it from where I'm sitting right now. It will continue to be that way for an indefinite amount of time, because that's the world that the Allies created for Jewry, the Prussian folk that are you know all mixed, Black, Asian, European, whatever. Just like the Jews are mixed, the Ashkenazi Jews are mixed in the same way. You understand? And uh, in this, as far as I know, around these parts. You know, around these parts, you don't get to shower in Jewish coin and come out white the other side. This is true in Hollywood, government, industry, you name it. Anything that makes money. And that's what the Allies fought for. And that's exactly what you got. I'm tired. You understand? It's not my rule. We didn't make the rules. Especially with this framing gig they got going on. It's not my rule. That's the way it is. It's what the Allies fought for. It's what they won, what they wanted. Everybody... You know, willing or unwillingly, or by uh, by their ignorance, it is in the end what happened and what uh, will continue to happen.
It's looking fine, 96 percent. It's kind of a big drop. And it's not overheating at all. And it's not overheating, so that's good. That's very good. Yeah, the co-op should be open over there at that market. I like that co-op, it's new.
clear indeed, isn't it? Yeah, the size one's 180, 180, 180. Excellent. Dishwasher tablets, dishwasher rinse. Yeah, we can even fill it up there. I guess this is it, this is all the selection we have. 125. Yeah, washing a liquid, 70p.
It's quite all right. It's quite all right. Like I said, you know, the people, you know, white people need to embrace this future of being a minority. Because that way you can't be blamed for anything. You understand? They will, you know, this group with the bad will become a majority, and they definitely are a majority from what I can see. And they will, more or less, in the end, take the blame for everything. Because the white people they are blaming don't exist. You understand? That's the silver lining in all of this, guys. Now don't uh, don't assume for a second that this uh, story that they didn't even know that white people existed, and they didn't even know that you know white people this or that. I don't really care about that. I mean, it's there's plenty of DNA that got squandered. You know, plenty of white people that they had that were killed and wars and whatever bullshit. You know, they keep telling me, you know, you didn't even know about you guys. This is coming from the Five Eyes. Even though, like I said, it was only, uh, you know, after we showed up that this uh, became uh, an issue. You know, before we showed up, I was all happy, you know, you know happily ever after. You know, it was all happily ever after before we showed up, right? You know, like, oh, come on, guy. I didn't know, you know, come on. Yeah, except, except I'm going to buy it. This thing needs to be scrubbed. It's got like a brush or something. But the rag does it as well. The rag will do it to, uh, to wipe the surface on it. It's got something on the surface. Like I said, it feels like sandpaper. Almost like it was dry cleaned. You know, and that's probably what they do. The clothes are normal after they are made. And then they probably stick them in the dryer or something for a couple of minutes. But that's why it feels like sandpaper, like something's on top of it. But they probably stick it in the dryer or something for a couple of minutes and then they sell it to you. Go ahead, stick this in here. from the surface of it. Jesus Christ, the smell of piss here is absurd.
Yeah, this thing soaks up water like a fucking white fiber towel. Let's turn this thing off. Maybe like the other one after I washed it, it made it worse. So who knows? Maybe they pulled it out, who knows, because I think with the other one, they pulled it out, they did something to it, and then they stuck it back in the box. I have to wait and see. Not an interesting... Uh There, get the pants out. That's probably what they do. When they make the clothes, it's probably fine. It's just that these drones, put them in a the dryer. That's why they feel like sandpaper. Put them in a the dryer with some radioactive shit and then they sell them to you. And that's the thing they're doing.
Bestellen Sie. Watch the crash. Hands feel rough. Here we go. After washing them. Let me see what the fuck they look like. Let's Very, very long process. Probably this can be repeated a couple of times.
interesting this week, it gets to be cold, so we're going to have to try and dry these before the rainy season really kicks on. I think it kicked on already. So hopefully it doesn't rain today. something of food. I came across it at Pizza Express three years ago, four years ago. Uh, prevent you from healing. So you get injured, cut on your hand, bump on your head, maybe knock your elbow in the doorway or something, and it takes a long time to heal. Maybe something in the food or the water or who knows. And this pizza is being homeless, but... Hey, 
is going to take a whole fucking day to dry. Slowest to dry out of anything that I can wash. A microfiber towel it holds a lot of water.
full of this black debris. Uh, residue or something. The Panzer is very nice for money. Very nicely uh, tailored. Very nicely tailored. Uh, we'll see how they are once I put them on. So I, I know they're very active because I tried them on. That's very much. I tried them on. We'll see how they are after a little bit of drying. Poison too. I like the sour taste of it. I said I like vinegar too. I think the vinegar with liquid X-Lax. I had no idea vinegar makes you shit yourself, but that's what they did. They put X-Lax. It was poisoned with COVID, even though it doesn't work so good in vinegar, depending on the concentration. But then they put liquid x in it on the second bottle that I bought. So, no more vinegar. Yeah, it looks like it went bad inside or something. It's rotten inside. It's okay, I'm sorry. If I had a hot, you know, if I had some chicken or something from an uh, rhythm, rhythms of life, if I had some, some kind of meal or something, I could use that as lemon juice. You know, sprinkle some lemon juice on there. It's very good with chicken, I like it. And fish, obviously. Yeah, the pants are very nice. A little bit too narrow for cargo pants. The cargo pants are supposed to be a little bit wider. But they're okay to wear on the inside of the boiler suit because the boiler suit is tearing up anyway in the crotch again. That hoodie can take two days to dry without sunlight. Two days, over two days. Receipts because this sour and so good is very much makes it very much his business since 9 11 to find out what uh, white people you know white people pay for, uh, which is apparently one of the reasons why they did 9 11 so they can find out the stuff 
that white people like to pay for. So good, kind of okay. Better than nothing. I like to have something sour in my mouth when I wake up, you know. Tea with lemon juice when you wake up is very good. Lots of sugar, I like sugar. I do have sugar, I need to put it on the lemon. Look, it smells good. It smells like soap. Fiber something, so it's uh, should be okay to wear. I hope it is because it's gonna get cold next week. Yeah, those cargo pants are very nicely tailored. I like the way they they tailor those. <coughs> they, are, they are a size bigger. It's 36, 34. Oh, oh, that lemon is even with sugar is pretty sour.
<coughs> yeah. Burned out my throat. <coughs> Burned out my throat. Fuck poison, leaving a lot of sugar, sugar in there. Trying to take down the sourness of it. It's more, it's a lot more sour. It's a lot more harsh than usual because it's poison. <coughs> yeah, that's gonna take a while to dry. For sure. <coughs> 